it is August, which finally means it's time for the Summer Fiesta, so how fitting we're standing here in a Winter Wonderland. Uh, but the competition this year, the entire Summer event, is a Weight Saver Lottery. So basically, the current competition is the highest weight of your heaviest doll sheep. Highest weight wins every Wednesday and Friday, and additional species will be added to the competition, thus increasing the possible overall weight you can get. You won't know exactly which animal is to come next, but expect the next animal to be slightly heavier in weight. You have only 30 attempts, so use them wisely. So, of course, we are after the doll sheep today. As you can see, I've got the 7mm Bogatine, and just for fun, I did bring the 17HMR just in case we run into anything interesting. So... I believe doll sheep max weight is 120 kilograms, so if we walk away with anything less than 118 for this, I would call that a disappointment, so we're going to sneak along here, probably head through that area, and then we're going to just kind of loop up around, check all through there, I'll probably come out like that, and I have to move my map just a bit, I'll likely end up going out through here, and then we'll just see where we're at, we'll see if we get any heavy doll sheep. The nice thing about this is it's not all based on scores, so you can get a like somewhat average doll sheep that happens to be a heavy weight and I like the fact that it kind of favors experienced players in that if you've got those high level trackings over hours of gameplay it kind of gives you a little edge when you pick up those heavy tracks you know it's going to be a good weight animal so I like that I like the fact that it's not like as RNG it's still RNG obviously but I think that's a, a nice little addition for those that have played the game for a long time having just a slight advantage at least. And basically, the overall reward for the entire month of August, the competition runs that long, uh, is a really, really nice looking gun. It's a gold engraved 30R, and I want that gun, so I am getting on to this competition and seeing if I can manage to place... I think top three gets the gun, and just looking at the prizes there, first place is 600 EM and a trophy, obviously, plus the gun. Second is 450, and third is 300, so... There are decent EM prizes as well along with that really, really looking good 30R. I've been after this guy for like, I'm pretty sure about 5 years. I don't think this is a great doll sheep spawn, but he's up to 115 kilograms. He could be a pretty decent start looking at the leaderboard. Hi. Uh, right now the top is 105, so gotta make this a drop shot or we could have a problem. There is the drop, and fortunately he tipped our way and is going to slide down the hill, so... We've got our first entry coming up, and he does have a decent curl on him, so maybe he's good. One, or 85 um, minimum, which is definitely solid. Let's see what we got. Hey, we're in the lead. 106.7 kilograms and a 180 score. That's actually not a bad sheep. And there it is right there. Your new result is 106.686, which gives you position 1 in Summer Fiesta 2018. I am starting to think maybe my goal of 118 was a bit lofty. But basically, there are going to be nine different species throughout the duration of this competition. So you basically, with the 30 attempts, have three attempts per species. And then, of course, you could have, like, multiple species on the same map. So that could definitely be a thing, but you really need to focus in. And I do believe, because of the weight thing, I do believe water buffalo could be the last species. So save your attempts, because they are very tough to get a really heavy one. And if you can... That could gain you easily 50 kilograms, and like right here, I'm only 14 below the absolute max, so that's going to be very important as well. I believe it could be water buffalo, or maybe even bison, but uh, water buffalo, especially like 1150, is just massive. I don't know that I've ever had much above that, so that's something to really keep an eye on, is just how many temps you're using before you get to the really big animals. Not a bad trophy shot, and not a bad first sheep, so we are going to get on to trying to find some more, and... If you look how far we've gone, I've basically covered about half of what I was already planning on doing, and I realized this area down here, going up through here and along this side, is actually something I really want to check as well. So we're going to do that towards the end, so I'm not too upset that we're not finding anything yet. They might all have spawned down on that side. Oh, hey. There you are. Been following this one a bit as well. It's up to 115. I just want to spot it and see if that's the case once again. It is, so it could actually be bigger... Uh, in terms of weight, despite actually being smaller in terms of horns, and I'm just going to hope that that drops him, and luckily it did, because he was about to just escape right up on top of the mountain. I don't expect him to weigh more, but you never know, and that is kind of the beauty of this competition. You can't just ignore the mediocre size ones in terms of score, because they could just be that really heavy one that you're looking for. 
but unfortunately this guy is not that seven mil though penetrated right through to the right lung going through the hip bone and intestine as well but 100.2 kilograms on him that one is not going to matter too much but hopefully the bigger ones around here somewhere we haven't had that max weight estimate yet well this obviously isn't going to get us anywhere but we might as well drop it just because it's here there's a bunch of other females on the hill but not really gonna matter i'm gonna send them all running anyway might as well get something to go with it and i messed up never mind we're good <laughs> i don't know where he was hiding but he looked like he had a pretty decent horn circumference so i think he might have been actually decent i didn't see the curl though so maybe he wasn't even all that big but either way we just got a really lucky two for one. I just genuinely did not see him when I came walking over here. I thought I spotted every sheep on the hill because I'm working on my doll sheep spotting, but he was hidden somewhere. But I don't think we care too much about this score. 42 scoring like just under 47 kilos, but what do we actually just end up shooting then? Probably not a moose. It's kind of open. We could get his track and know what we're dealing with. Actually, he didn't even make it all that far. So... Maybe he was hiding, like, just on the back side of the hill here? That might be him up to 105. Looks like it was. So, I guess he's not that impressive, unless there's another one. Nah, that was him, unfortunately, but... I really thought he might have been actually a solid sheep. Just want to look and see if he actually has a curl, but I thought I saw that good horn circumference. Actually, yeah, he's pretty much just average from the looks of it. Yeah, 140s, 142.5, and a 95 kilo, so the smallest male so far, I believe. There should be a sheep somewhere, oh hey, yeah, there is a sheep somewhere in front of us, right in front of us, 82, 115, and he is dead, so he does have the potential to be our best one, though again, he's not that big, but you never know, he does have the weight estimate to possibly be solid. Yeah, I didn't really think so. 92.7 kilos and a 136 score, but slowly eliminating the sheep off the map, and they are becoming a little more frequent now, so I think we got into where they're actually spawned at this hunt. So we've got a few sheep out here. We got this guy, 85 to 115 on the weight. There's another two, I believe. And I can't see either of them at the moment, but one of them was kind of big-ish, and I wanted to shoot that one first simply because he is going to be more likely to spook, I think than the other two so i want to get all three of them because at least two of them i think have the 85 to 115 weight i don't think this one here is the one that i was tracking but oh is that nope that's not him either because that's definitely not a big sheep but we'll get a spot that's only up to 110 so we don't need to really concern ourselves with that i do see the horns now of the one that i was looking for and i think he's 85 to 115 as well so once we can get a shot on him we'll go for it We'll try to get the others. I didn't even know you were here. That's a male as well. Although a very tiny one. Yeah, that's up to 115 too, but I just don't see it. I can try to get a shot on him as he flees. Oh, that's interesting. They're kind of fighting now. So I'm going to have to wait just a minute until they quit because that's too difficult to try to slide a shot in. Although they're quitting now. Alright, got him. Where did the guy here go? Ooh, that was early. Just a bit early. That's a little bit late, but got him in the back leg. Actually, don't think he'll run very far from that. Doll sheep are kinda... Usually not very resilient, and the 7 mil is pretty powerful, and I don't really know where he got to, but... Hopefully we can find him just to confirm the weight, and we did get the big one down, which hopefully is going to be bigger than that 106 we had earlier. And apparently this guy just didn't run or something, but he's up to 115 as well. That should be a decent intestine hit, if nothing else. I don't expect him to run very far, and maybe three sheep down? Looks like he actually... Nah, I think that's snow. Yeah, that's not him, but... We'll probably have to track that one that we shot, the small one, but I'm not too worried about it because I don't expect him to weigh that much because he was, like, very small, but we'll try to find him just in case. And is that the one that I shot still running around? I think that's a deer, actually. Pretty sure it was a Sitka, but let's go see what we have. And for some reason, I can't claim this guy, so what I'll do is go ahead and place a mark there and hopefully... We'll be able to leave render and come back and then be able to claim him because 
The other one with the, the good curls we had was the heaviest one so far, so he could be like 114 for all I know. So I'm going to try my best to get him claimed. In the meantime, I think that is one of the ones. I'm wearing my sunglasses now because it's just so dang bright. I think that's the one we actually shot in the intestine, which was the second biggest score-wise, so maybe he'll have a decent weight as well. Yeah, not bad. Actually, that was way further than I thought. 238 meters away, just 100.9 kilos, though. Whoa, that was kind of loud. But I need to run a good, like, 150, 200 meters because that 300 render distance now to get out of render that one. And I really hope we can claim him because I do think he's actually a bigger, a, uh, like, score-wise than the last one, the biggest one we have so far, that 106. So I would not be surprised if he's heavier and got a female calling. There could be a male up there we could check out as well. Holy, look at the curl on that guy. Oh, boy. wonder what his weight's going to be. Kind of glad I had to leave render now. That's not bad looking, although it, I will say it looked bigger through the binoculars, to be honest. Up to 115, but that is the max score estimate, I believe, 210. So we're going to go ahead and try to drop him. I don't actually know how far that is. I'll just... 7 mil is pretty flat shooting. Came a little high. Oh, wow. That was far. That hit very low. I should have probably ranged that, but hopefully he is going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and reload, but there's no way I'm getting a second shot off, I wouldn't think. Maybe. Ah, I actually hit him again. Well, the good news is I'm fairly certain he's going to go down now. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll draw a little X over where our other one is that we got to go back and grab. And we're going to go track him first because I know roughly where he just was. I'm going to spot... Right about there, and let's go see. That could be a really good weight one, just because he had that max score estimate. By the way, does anyone know, am I wrong? Is 115 the max weight for doll sheep? Because I'm just nearly certain that I've had 75 to 120 tracks, and dang, that looks actually really, really solid. We might have something here. We might have something here. The weight is not there, though, 100.4 kilograms. It is only a 181, so it's about the same size as the other one. Really thought that curl was bigger, but yeah, we got to go back and grab the one that we couldn't claim before. I still think he is somewhat solid, and yeah, let me know if you guys know that. I swear the 120 is actually the max, at least an estimate you can get, but I've had like maybe 12, 85 to 115 tracks now, so I'm kind of thinking that might actually be the max, or maybe I'm just getting unlucky. And I still, I can't claim this guy. Well, that's really annoying. That's actually a really nice look of Sitka. I'm going to have to shoot that even though that's not a doll sheep. I just can't pass that up. That guy looks actually really, really solid. I shot too high because I'm just <laughs> used to shooting high at this point, but I don't really expect him to go anywhere. He might have went down behind that tree, in fact. That was actually a straight body shot as well. I know it wasn't super long range, so that probably explains why he went down so fast, but... I really like the shape we got going here. I don't see any major deductions. This could be a really good one. Yeah, not too bad. 108.1. He is, of course, not what we're after, but I'm pretty happy to get him. All right, hold on. We have to make a pit stop again. 110 to 140. I don't see that on Bison very often. He is the, not max weight, but he's got that heavy weight estimate of 810 to 880. My luck, this will be the heaviest Bison I shoot throughout the competition and I would not be too surprised if they are one of the species but he looks pretty dang good to me you can see just the body size versus this one that's back here and wow just when he faced me there that's a female but that's a good looking bison not a huge fan of the seven mil on them so I'd like to just get him to charge me so I can just hit him in the next spine area okay hold on that's a, yep that's a little too close but uh that'll work See what we got for him. That could be a really good one. Yeah, not too bad, 121. And I think we'll probably just leave it with that because I actually fast traveled to just cover a little more area. There really weren't many doll sheep down here. And this is a nice ending. So basically what we accomplished here was getting a good bison, a good Sitka deer, and a lot of pretty average doll sheep and wasting like two hours because I got the biggest one in the first half hour. But it was fun and it was a decent i mean 106 is solid that's a good start for this summer fiesta i'll try to get a better one at some point but yeah looking forward to doing this and competing for that uh one of those top three places to get that 30r because that is a gorgeous gun so with that thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video it is very much appreciated and i will see you next time